What's up, beautiful babes? It's your girl, Sweet Angel. Welcome into Sugar Fingers. Listen, today, y'all, you see I have no nails on. I'm getting ready to apply nail tips, but unfortunately, I wanted stiletto nails, and I don't have any just tips with the stiletto style, but what I do have and I think you all have seen these before, is my big old bag of false nails by McCart. These are stiletto nails. However, the problem is they are full cover nails. So I will have to take my scissors and cut them to make just plain little tips. So what I'm going to do now is just empty them out and go ahead and size up the sizes I need. And I'll show you my process and how I plan on doing this because I've not, I've never done it before. So we're gonna do it now. And I'll be back when I have my sizes selected. All right, beautiful babes, as you can see, I have all of my sizes selected now. Now I'm going to be taking my scissors here. I'm going to try to cut these in a manner in which I'm going to only do half of my nail because my nail beds are so flat that these do not fit snugly on my nails. So I'm just gonna take it and cut it um, enough off of it so I can just use that portion on the tip and not worry about trying to fit the entire piece of it here because there's such a gap and it never never fits unless I use acrylic to apply them so I don't need acrylic I just want to be able to use the nail itself so I'm gonna try to cut it all together if my scissors are sharp enough let's see what happens here all right that wasn't too painful and I don't want my stilettos extremely long okay that looks pretty good yeah, that looks about the length, okay? Now, my final result of my nails, I really want to try a new dip powder system. So, that's what I'm going to do today. And I will show you that on another video here momentarily. So, stay tuned for that on this channel. And it doesn't really matter if it's a little crooked or not because I'll straighten it up as I put them on here. So, that's not going to be... A big deal breaker okay so that's looking good so far so good all right this these two moving right along here and the great part about it is the bottom portion of these nails is more is a lot thinner than the top portion so it's working out really nicely okay and that's giving me not an extremely long stiletto so I can be able to still function and work because you know if your nails are just too gum long girl you ain't gonna get nothing accomplished you already know okay and hopefully I can balance it all out as I go along and make sure they're even so I'll, I'll do each finger one by one and measure up with the other finger so okay now it looks like we're ready to glue them on so we have them all cut now the glue that I'm going to be using is the McCart nail glue here and this one I love it because it's a brush on and we're going to start with the pinkies and work to the doms but I'm going to do pinky pinky and make sure I have them even okay so we're starting with the pinkies first and just to let y'all know I dehydrated my nails with alcohol and a paper towel that's all I did I just spritz it on my nail I'll just show you here I just spritz it on and I just wipe off with a paper towel and that helps to take the oil off of the nail so that's all I did and this one is on as you can see and we'll go on to the next one Thank you. 
All right, the nails are on, and now all I have to do is just kind of buff them off and try to smooth out the edge a little bit. But what I'm actually doing is dip powder, so I should be able to fix that problem with the dip powder, but we shall see. So let me just go ahead and file them. I'm going to be using my Tachi Bell Jumbo Medium 100 180 Disinfectable Washable nail files here so we'll just buff off the top of them i'll start with the pinkies first since that's where i initially got started at okay i finished filing them and getting that little rough edge off the um, tip of them but I'm going to use my little buffing block here just to kind of smooth a little bit more of it out and um, try to catch the areas that I didn't get not buffing too much because I don't want to like smooth it back out I just want to kind of again get those little edges off as best I can and then after this, I'll go ahead and wipe them down with some alcohol. So I'll be back after I begin to do the wiping down part, okay? Okay, I'm back after buffing them off. Now I'm just gonna spray them down with some alcohol and make sure that I get all the dust off and wipe them off. All right, now for the most part, they are ready for whatever nail enhancement you want to apply. Whether you're getting ready to do some poly gel, some dip powder, or some acrylic, they are ready. Making sure that when you do this, if you see there is a little edge there, always start your product and build up over that edge before putting it all over so the nail won't be too thick, but that'll help build up the apex as well and make them really sturdy. So that is it. I just wanted to test this out and see how well it'll work. And it looks like it'll work for tips in case you don't have any or run out of the ones that you currently use. So I'm loving it and I think this is perfect. So I'm just gonna dust them off and I'm going to get ready to do whatever birthday nails I decide on this time around. <laughs> so that is it, beautiful babes. Thank you so much for swinging my way again. I'm your girl, Sweet Angel, right here at Sugar Fingers. Like, comment, subscribe, and always keep those hands looking gorgeous. I'll see ya, bye.